Good afternoon, Bearcat fans. Greetings from Hoffines Pavilion here in Houston, Texas, home of the world's lowest ceiling. It's kind of claustrophobic in here. It'll be the site of a big game tonight. Two teams that are undefeated in American Conference play, the 22nd ranked Bearcats and the UH Cougars. Dan Horde with Terry Nelson and our photographer Andre Fouché. Thanks for checking this out. This is your preview of tonight's matchup between the Bearcats and Houston. Historically, a series that's been dominated by UC. The Bearcats lead Houston in the all-time series 27 to two. It's been like the Globetrotters against the Washington Generals. But when we came here last year, Houston beat the Bearcats and the three best players from that Houston team are back this year. It's a scary three to think about defending. I mean, they have a down here player and Galen Robinson Jr. who likes to take the basketball and go from end to end and put pressure on your defense. He'll collapse it, make you suck in, he'll kick it out for threes, or he'll dump down. Uh, not really necessarily an offensive threat, only averages a little bit less than six points per game, but his 5.2 assists are second in the conference, and he does a lot of that kicking out to one of the most feared three-point shooters that we have in the league, and Damian Dotson. Damian Dotson is an incredible three-point shooter, 45% from three. He's 15 points per game, reminds me a lot of big dog, uh, Glenn Robinson back in the day for Purdue. Catch and shoot, only 18 free throw attempts. That means he likes to get it off quickly, doesn't like one or two dribbles at most to put the ball up. He has three double doubles on the year, so his six foot five, 210 frame is really serviceable in that area. And then you have one of the player of the year candidates in Rod Gray Jr. 20 points per game, he is dynamic. He scores from all over the place, threes, twos, floaters, uh, Offensive rebounds. I mean, this guy is a dynamic scorer. He can carry a team. So he's somebody that we have to constantly keep an eye on because he can change the complexity of the game by himself. Rob Gray did not play in Houston's last game, and they won anyway, beating Tulsa. Pretty impressive to win without a guy averaging 20 points a game, and Rob Gray will be back tonight against Cincinnati. Let's look at the other side. What must the Bearcats do, Terry Nelson, to improve to 3-0 in conference play tonight? Well, first thing they have to do is withstand the run, and that comes a lot from your seniors. Troy Copain, Kevin Johnson must steady this ship. Houston's going to make a run. They average 77 points a game. They're going to push it. They're going to get transition buckets, but you have to stymie it, get to the free throw line, and get your team in sets that you need to be able to score. Uh, guys off the bench. Trey Scott's going to bring that energy off the bench that he normally does. He's going to bring your energy, hustle, rebounding, block shots, all the intangibles that you need from some utility players off the bench. Jaron cumberland has got to come in, establish himself as a true scorer. 19 points in his last game. He's going to get some opportunities to come and prove himself. But down low is where it's really going to be won. Gary Clark last year didn't score in this game here. He had 13 rebounds. He didn't score a field goal, that is. He had six free throws, 13 rebounds. He's going to have to be a bigger role for us in that end. But Kyle Washington's got to be a bull in a china shop down there. He's got to get a double-double, 13 to 13 in that area, and he'll be fine. All right. Everybody in the city of Houston, and I mean everybody, is talking about the big game. Texans versus Raiders. This one between the Bearcats and uh, Cougars is not getting quite as much attention locally, but it should be a great game. Tip off nine o'clock Cincinnati time tonight. You can listen to our radio broadcast beginning with our coverage at 8.30 on 700 WLW. You can watch the game on TV on ESPNU, and you'll get complete post-game coverage on GoBearcats.com. For Terry Nelson and our photographer, Andre Fouché, I'm Dan Horde. Thanks for checking out this game preview on Facebook.